this topic is precise and doubt. Precise means very exact, very accurate. Only doubt having limitation, it cannot rectify voltages below 0.6 because V gamma, which is called cutting voltage, it is 0.6 or 0.7 for a diode. So as a limitation of the diode, it cannot rectify the voltage below 0.6. Because you know the diode is diode act like a switch on or off. If the voltage is greater than 0.6, it is on. If less than 0.6, it is off. But the real doubt, it becomes on or off. If the voltage is greater than zero, it is on. If less than zero, it is off. A real doubt can act like the ideal one if we use op amplifier. If we use it with op amplifier. Then what happens with by using op amplifier cut in voltage get reduced too much. It reduced too much and virtually you can say it is eliminated. There is no cut cutting voltage now. Now it becomes V comma or 10 key power 4 or 10 key power 5 which is the open loop gain of the op amplifier. And you know what is V comma? Let it is 0 0.6. 0 0.6 divided by 10 k power 4. Now it approximately becomes. It approximately becomes 16 microvolt. Too small now. So that in volt is now virtually eliminated. Now this is now amplified. This is the non-inverting terminal. Input voltage is applied here, which is to be rectified. This is the characteristics of op that whatever the voltage at the non-inverting, that will be at the inverting also, shown in a box. This is a you know, feedback path, but there is no resistance. Here it is open. When RF is zero and R I is infinity. So this is non inverting amplifier because input is at the plus and voltage gain the formula is this RF upon R I RF is zero R I is infinity. So this becomes voltage follower circuit. So this is voltage follower circuit. Now we are we connected. We are connecting a diode here. PN. PN junction diode. If positive half of the input comes, then is a voltage follower. The same positive comes here. The diode becomes on and output will appear. Okay. Mean whatever the input that appears at the output because the for positive half the diode becomes on. It is voltage forward circuit. 
when the negative half arrives at the non-inverting terminal then voltage forward mean negative here tap becomes reverse biased and uh, it is a switch now it is open it it is the switch is off no output appears output is zero Inverting op can also be converted into a rectifier using a diode and that becomes a precision precision diode. The diode will act uh, like the real one, like the ideal one, sorry, with op. Now to learn how it is with, you know, inverting op. This is a circuit diagram for inverting op with a diode. With diode to act as half wave rectifier. Now when positive half of the signal comes, this is a, you know, inverting hope, so that's why the negative, because of the negative half appear here, and the doubt even becomes on. Negative half appear here is because the inverting amplifier, doubt becomes on, D1 on becomes on, and D2 is off. You know, D2 is off because negative is appearing at the P of the D2. So this is open circuit, there will be no output. When negative of the half, negative half of the input appears here, this is inverting op, and you know what happens? Uh, what happens? The positive half appears here, because of this positive half, D1 becomes off and D2 becomes on because uh, P of D2 is at positive. So this act like, so this op amplifier act like the, act, act like the inverting op. This becomes inverting operational amplifier. It acts like an inverting amplifier, you know.
This is the circuit for full wave rectifier using op and the doubt becomes precise again here for how full wave is rectified. Let's learn about it. Using op, the circuit diagram is S. So when positive half of the signal appears here, positive half, and this is, you know, inverting up, negative appears here, tau T1 becomes on, T2 becomes off. Okay? D1 is on and T2 is off. Now then, equivalent circuit for VA greater than zero, that means, when the positive half appears, D1 is on and D2 is off. So when the positive half appearing, the this equivalent circuit, first op is inverter. So the inverted signal appears here. D1 is shorted. Now, second one, second op is also inverted. It again, you know, inverts the output of the first op. So with this result, the final output is in phase with the input signal. Whatever the shape of the input signal, the same is now of the output signal, okay? So now let's consider the case when the negative half appears at the input, okay? So when negative half appears here, at the input, the first op is inverting amplifier, so the, it comes positive here. With this positive, T1 becomes off, because positive is appearing at the end. So this is off, this is an open circuit, and this positive is appearing at the P of D2. Tau D2 becomes on, so it act like a short circuit. So now the circuit modifies like this is an open circuit now. R and R, they are in series, total resistance becomes R plus R means 2R. Series register, you know. So this is now a short circuit because this tau D2 is on. So this is the circuit now. Let me call this point as small a. The here the voltage is V. Okay, the V is at here because the voltage at the two are same. Two inputs will be same as a differential amplifier. The characteristics. Okay. So as the characteristics of the differential amplifier. Voltage will be same at the two inputs approximately. The differential voltage is zero. V minus V is zero. So V is at here. And uh, this is grounded. So the point node A will be also grounded approximately zero volt. So here one side V, other side zero across two R. Potential difference is V minus 0 upon 2R becomes the current, V upon 2R. Here it is, the voltage is VI and 
to other end it is zero so vi upon r this is the current now here the voltage is v and zero so v upon r this is the current so there are three currents and they are reaching at the node small a so some of the three currents they are reaching one is v upon 2r other is v upon vi upon r and third one is v upon r so some of the three current will be zero they are you know all are reaching at the node small a it becomes v equals to minus 2 over 3 vi okay now now coming here so this we just proved that v is minus 2 over 3 over vi so this is what this is applied at the you know positive terminal so it acts as now non inverting amplifier and the and the gain becomes 1 plus r over 2 r okay into the small v so v not becomes 3 by 2 into small v now substituting the value of small v so you are getting very important point is again voltage forward but phase inverter the output will be in phase with the so output will be out of phase with the input is negative small v will be positive and output will be positive so phase inverter circuit this one this circuit behaves for phase inverter only when negative half appears remember this thing not for positive half for positive half is it is voltage valve circuit so we we are getting the rectified we are getting the rectified voltage it is unidirectional but still pulsating it is not bidirectional now 